Um, I think that the second movement of this concerto by Ravel is one of the most beautiful pieces ever written uh, in the music um, literature. It is very unique because it almost reminds um, of Mozart. It has an incredible simplicity and it starts with a big piano solo um, with an ambivalent rhythm and you have this melody, you have to actually play with one breath for 34 bars. So it, you need a, a big breath to be able to keep that line. And then later on the orchestra joins and then comes in the second half, the beautiful um, solo of the English horn, which is um, beyond this world. And um, I ev like every time I play this part, I get goosebumps and I think it's just a gem in classical music, uh, this, this piece. And um, I, I, I am actually so grateful whenever I can play it. And I'm so grateful that actually Ravel has written this and that we still can uh, play it over and over again and experience this magic. Um, it is very important for me to reach out to a wider audience um, where there's no limitation to um, class or age. Um, I think that music is something that should be without any limits. Um, there should not be any elitism, there shouldn't be any exclusivity and sometimes I feel that the rules that have established in the classical concert hall are preventing um, new audiences to come and discover this music and I think that everyone um, who lives today and who is taking on this legacy, this rich legacy of classical music has the responsibility to to think about what does it mean to make this music in the 21st century and who do we want to be as artists and who do we want to communicate to, how do we want to translate this music.